and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see here, just this second finished, we're making a cauliflower and potato dry curry, like a dry fry or aloo gobi. Really beautiful, got some lovely little flavors in there. Really simple, this one actually. I love it, hope you do too. Let's go and do it. Let's take a look at what we're gonna be using today. So, of course, cauliflower and our potatoes. Cut quite small and about equal parts, but again, that's up to you. A little bit of tomato there, just to give it a little bit of some moisture. We're gonna do a dry fry here, but I wanna give it a little bit of moisture. So, small amount of tomato and a small amount of chopped onion. Here I've got some fresh chilies. That looks like quite a lot, but they're not actually that hot. I've got here garlic and ginger. Now, I'm not using garlic ginger paste today because I kind of like it a bit crunchy and the larger pieces in this one, but go ahead and use 50-50 uh, paste if you want. Cumin seeds, a little bit of turmeric and a little bit of chili powder. Of course, we're gonna start this off with some oil. We're gonna add a bit of salt and maybe another few bits or pieces, you never know. But that's pretty much it. Let's go and do it. Okay, so we've got our pan and I've got some oil that I'm heating up in there. I'm using a ground nut oil today, but you could use any oil that you wanted. Very simply, as our oil heats, we're gonna drop in our cumin seeds. We just need a few seconds on these to do their thing and infuse the oil. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with my chunky cut. Garlic and ginger. Like I say, I just like it in the mix with this one, cut like this. We're going to pop in that onion, not a great deal, just a small amount. And then we're going to go in now with our potatoes. So we need to cook this for about four minutes, on quite a kind of high heat, stirring all the time. We need to give our potatoes a bit of a head start on our cauliflower or gobi. This is coming along really nicely. I don't know if you can see that, if you can, that, you know, our, our garlic and ginger is kind of browning. So I really like that kind of, just slightly, not burnt, but nearly there. I kind of like that in, in the mix. Okay, let's go in with the other star of the show, which is our cauliflower. And again, we're gonna do the same again now, stirring pretty much all the time, just for about two minutes of time. Okay, so what we've done here is just get the cauliflower slightly on the go. I mean, still rock hard. Okay, now we're gonna go in with those two powders, which is our chili powder and our turmeric. So in there you go, along with our fresh chili, which like I say, looks like a lot, but it's not. We're gonna get some salt in there. And that little bit of chopped tomato. Again, we're gonna stir fry this around again now for about two to three minutes. some absolutely wonderful colours going on now and our beautiful spices are really making this great I mean I'm really happy with this okay really simply lid on 
Let's get the heat nice and low now, maybe even to a simmer. What we're looking to do now is to get our potatoes and cauliflower nice and tender and cooked. So maybe about another four to five minutes, give it a little stir every now and then. Okay, let's jump in and take a look. Let's turn that very low heat off. Now we've got a lovely, this is really nice and tender now. There you go, our potatoes are nicely cooked there. Check that for salt, you might want to add some more salt. Now, you could add some fresh cilantro or coriander now, but today I'm going to add some dried fenugreek or methi. That's the dried leaf there. So what you do is you get it and just rub it in your hands. And then it goes. You don't need a lot of this, it's got a very distinctive flavour. We're simply going to mix that in. And that's done. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?